Hi guys, Adam from Middles Panel Builders, and I just wanted to give you a quick update to our Sling customers about the flap system on the G3X Touch, uh, in particular version 9.30, how it improves it. So a lot of Sling customers uh, have noticed or experienced a problem with the flap system where if the flaps are full up, or in some cases full down, you'd have to hit the flap switch multiple times in order to get the system to do what you wanted it to. Now this is only an issue, at least in our experience, when you're using a toggle-based or relative position uh, flap system. And so the symptom is, again, flaps all the way up, or in some cases flaps all the way down, you'd hit the rocker switch to go the opposite direction. So if you're all the way up, you'd hit the rocker switch to go down, and it would go maybe a couple of degrees when it really should be going 10 degrees. And then you'd have to hit it maybe two or three times to get it to finally go to where you want it to go. Um, what actually causes this is a phenomenon with the flat motor itself. The, any motor has what's called a run up and a run down time. And what that is is it's the amount of time that it takes. So on, on the run up case, how long does it take for the motor to reach full speed from the time that power is applied to it? And in the run down case, how long does it take for the motor to stop moving when power is removed? So what happens, or what can happen in some cases, is the run down time is too long on these flat motors, and so the flat position goes through whatever the G3X was expecting. So if you're you know, commanding flaps up, the motor can go through the up position a little bit, and what happens is it confuses the logic in the G3X, and it doesn't know exactly where the flaps are. It's, it's what I would call an illegal position because it's not something that's programmed in. So uh, they have solved that now. They've accounted for an extended run up or run down time. Um, and now we've actually been able to test ahead of time that this, uh, that this fix will work. Um, we know for sure on the high wing, which had this problem more than the TSIs, um, but it's a similar symptom. Uh, so now, um, with the release of 9.30, if you are experiencing this issue, I do recommend that you update right away and uh, let us know, make sure that it solved it for you, uh, but we do believe that it will. If you have any questions on this, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below or get a hold of us through our normal channels, and we'll see you in the next video.